Hey, what's up? It's Daryl Glenn Kelly. <laughs> Donkey. Or if you're a gamer, Ego. That's not hard to figure out at all. Been that way since 2001. Anyway, I'm going to be uh, brief about this because I'm uh, reading about something that's highly affected my life. How does guardianship work in Oklahoma? Guardianship as a concept serves to as a protective framework, a legal safety net for those unable to make critical decisions about their lives due to age, illness, or disability. However, guardianship is not a universal concept with uniform regulations. It morphs or changes, tailoring itself to the legal landscape of each state. Grasping the nuances of guardianship in Oklahoma is not a small feat. It requires a comprehensive understanding of the law, a clear appreciation of the responsibilities that come with it, and a steadfast commitment to the welfare of the ward. Interesting word, ward. Whether you are considering taking on this noble responsibility or are seeking ways to protect a loved one, acquiring knowledge about Oklahoma's guardianship laws is the first step. So, how does guardianship work in Oklahoma? Who can be a guardian in Oklahoma? Determining who can save a, who can serve, not save, who can serve as a guardian in crucial or how guardianship works in Oklahoma. The state has specific eligibility requirements and considerations for this specific role. A guardian must be a legal, competent adult of sound mind. However, Meeting this basic criteria does not automatically qualify an individual to become a guardian. The court will also look at the person's moral character, ability to manage finances, a parenthesis, if the guardianship includes property management, parenthesis, comma, a physical ability to fulfill the role. The court also considers the potential guardianship with the ward. Preference is usually given to relatives, especially parents in the case of minor wards, and spouses of adult children for adult wards. However, if no suitable family member is available or willing to serve, the court will appoint a professional guardian. The court also seeks to attack, attack, the court also seeks to act in the best interests of the ward. Interesting. Therefore, if a person is legally eligible and willing to serve as a guardian, they will not be appointed if the court does not believe their appointment would serve the wards in the ward's best interests. That's pretty interesting. Types of guardianship in Oklahoma. There's three types. Uh, general guardianship, limited guardianship, guardianship, and special guardianship. My guardian, my sister, special, or not special, general guardianship. Definition, general or full guardianship grants the guardian control over all personal financial decisions for the ward, typically when they are unable to manage these aspects themselves. Has anybody ever met Daryl Glenn Kelly? Even before the accident, I've never been able to manage money. Even when I was making a bunch of money in the casino business, I had no idea how much I was making or why they bought me a house or a car or a truck and paid for the lawn to be done. I mean, everything. As long as I, whenever I ate out, as long as I turned in a receipt, they paid for it. I ate at Charleston's like it was McDonald's. I had no idea about money. Uh, so, uh, that's interesting in the law. General or full guardianship grants the guardian control over all personal and financial decisions 
for the ward. Typically, when they are unable to manage these aspects themselves. I mean, yeah, <clears throat> I'll skip some stuff here. Terminating guardianship in Oklahoma requires a formal request, request to the court, illustrating a change in the ward's circumstances. This could be the ward regaining capacity, the minor reaching adulthood, adulthood, or the ward's passing. Throughout this process, it's crucial to have the guidance of the experienced guardianship attorney. Did she? Do I? I have no idea about her. I haven't spoken to her. and I have the date down in my phone. I have the text message. <clears throat> the date and the time is so interesting. Uh, yeah, I was supposed, to, I guess there was a court thing and there was some money. I was never allowed to know how much money. And I was, I was never allowed to know how much. And I wasn't allowed to go to the court because my guardian told me I couldn't go to court because nobody liked me. That's my guardian telling me that. And then uh, once they spent all the money, I mean, I do have a manufactured home. It's nice. But I also have Oklahoma's most expensive two-door Jeep. And <laughs> changing the tires on the thing is like $2,000, like $1,700. It's like $10,000 just in tires. I got fired from four jobs in 2024 because I'm just not built like other people at all. Anybody that's ever spoken to me knows I'm just not like other people at all. I finally found out why. And I know this doesn't really help my situation. For me, it helps, but I'm autistic. And even after some more research, I know which one. I'm HFA. I'm not Asperger. I'm HFA. Because my IQ is above 70. Before the accident, it was twice that. It's not so much now. But uh, over 85% of the people, over 85% of the people with HFA autism cannot keep a job. My guardian owns a company and has three or four homes. Super rich. I'm not going to tell everything that I know about that, but the only reason I can eat is because of Snap. The only reason I have food, uh, a phone is because of ACP. I, I can't find a job. I thought it wasn't going to be a big deal because when I owned, what, two, three different gyms, the last one, I worked at for 17 and a half years, almost 18 years, seven days a week. The only time that I didn't coach was in the early morning because Lindsay took care of that until about the last few months. I coached all of the rest completely by myself. The kids, the foundations. I coached over a thousand people in Northeast Oklahoma and I have zero injuries on my record. That's supposed to be impossible. But my attention to detail is rare. Anyway, before I found CrossFit, my brother actually took me uh, to my first CrossFit class. I was decided to go back to school. And I had made a decision after the first year, I was either going to be a PA physician's assistant or go to law. Anybody that knows me knows I have no problems arguing, especially if I know I'm right. I never stop. I usually win. 
95% of the time or higher. 95% of the time that I argue with somebody, I win. Otherwise, I wouldn't be arguing. Anyway, all those years, I, I never called in sick. Calling in sick is for the week. Never did that. I never missed until that fall. And it put me in a coma almost for a month, for almost a month. Anyway, I have been told by my family, which pisses me off because my brother is not talking to me. It's the first time in our whole lives. He's, same mom, same dad, born in the same city. We dug my dad's grave together right next to my other little brother who committed suicide when he was 16. He's not talking to me, and I don't know why. I'm kind of a question guy. I want to know why. They won't tell me. Anyway, I have a text message from my guardian that says, all the money's gone. I'm not spending any more. Don't ever call me and don't ever come to my house. They live one 0.67389 miles from me. And I was told that uh, I was going to buy one of the houses that she has after this court thing that I was not allowed to go to. But when it came in, it was like, oh, we can't get the $100,000 because we were going to give you a deal. But we can't. And I was like, why not? And it was like, because I'm your guardian. That was the last time I spoke to her. When she realized, when she communicated to me that she couldn't get that money. Was it really her money? I'm pretty sure I'm the one that fell. I'm the one that broke my back in like five or six places. I'm the one that was in a coma. I had to relearn how to walk and talk. I still have that whiteboard of where all of the people members, Facebook people, blah, 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 wrote. I still have all those cards, all of it. It's in the closet. I'm never throwing it away because every once in a while, I'll pull that out and I'll look at it and I'll think to myself, where are they? Here's what they said. Where are they? Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. I'm not the type of person to ask for help. but I'm a warrior and it's time to fight.